A south side home is patched up and boarded up after a car came crashing inside it earlier today. Fox 6's Derricka Williams explains why the residents near 36th and Greenfield were able to escape any injuries. So that table actually hit the wall from over there. J.D. Von Stockhausen felt just a boom. And his sister Ashley Felsky. I literally felt myself go back and then forward. Had a rude awakening Sunday morning. The house just shook like an earthquake. After this vehicle came barreling through their home. All I seen was smoke. You can see by the tire marks that the grass actually acted like a ramp. JD and Ashley said the car went airborne, hitting the top part of the first floor. It came down, bringing along bricks and siding with it. The tires were still spinning. So he, he never touched the brake. There's no skid marks or anything. After grabbing the kids and taking them to safety, Ashley rushed to call 911 and at the same time. Towing guy was at Aldi's waiting for a job and he had heard the boom. He drove over here and made the guy stay because he was worried that the guy was going to get out and run. As they waited for police, this family counted its blessings. This couch is folded over and that's the spot where I usually sleep. I'm blessed and I'm alive. And lucky in more ways than one. The oil spouts are right underneath the car and so is the gas tank too. The whole house got blown up. As they try to figure out how to pick up the pieces, they still manage to remain positive. We're all okay. That's all that really matters. We can just rebuild it and we'll be fine. In Milwaukee, Derricka Williams, Fox 6 News. Derricka, thank you. A man is in custody tonight and police are working to determine if the driver was drunk.